We begin today the Gemara on the Afayin Gimel Amid Aleph, eight lines down from the top of the Yomit, where it says, Tanan. So, the Gemara here brought the Machlekes between Abaya and Rava, very fundamental Machlekes regarding Edim Zaymimin. When Edim Zaymimin, that is when you have Edim that came and testified about something, and then a second set of Edim came and said, You were with us in another place at that time, so the testimony is false. So the Torah says that, the first Eidus becomes Puzzle, and then they have to pay or give whatever they want intended to do with their Eidus. That's the din of Eidim Zaymimin. So the Machlekes of Abai and Rava is, Abai says, the Eidim Zaymimin, once they become Puzzle, the Psal is retroactive, which means that not only the Eidus that they said that was found to be false is Puzzle, any other Eidus that they said from that time period, going forward, everything, that they said is all puzzle. They signed any documents, whatever it may be. Ravado says, no, it's only puzzle, meaning that when they're found to be puzzle, from here forward, we say, well, besides obviously that Adis that they said, which is puzzle, but all the other Adis that they said in between are not going to be considered puzzle. Only from here going forward will it be puzzle. The Gemara explained before, either it's Menatera, because it's a Chiddush, so it's only Mikan Allah Haba, or it's a Takanas Chachamim, not to, to ruin any documents or any testimony that the Edim said for Lekuchais, for sales and other things in between. That was the Machlaikis the Gemara brought before. So now the Gemara is going to bring from the Mishnah that we learned before on the Fahim Beis and Midbeis, and ask on it uh, from, from this Mishnah on, uh, on the, regarding this Machlaikis. Let's see. So Tanan, we learned the Mishnah, Gonav al Pishnayim. A person steals an animal, and there's two Adim testifying about this. And Vetovach Machar, and then he slaughtered or sold these anim- this animal al Piyam with the same Adim that testified. So the Adim are coming and testifying. We saw Sunday you stole it, and then we saw Monday that you slaughtered it, or you sold it. Then Venimtsu Zaymimin, and then it turns out that his Adim said false testimony. On both the Gneve and on the Tviche. So, Mishalman is So, these Adim that are now Adim Zaymimin, they have to pay everything that they intended this Ganav to pay. So, they intended to have this Ganav pay four or five times as much what he <coughs> stole. That's the halacha of Tviche or Mechira that you pay, Dalad Vehei. So, these Zaymimin now have to pay all of that. So, so the Gemara now says like this My love, don't you think the case over here is Shehidu ala Gneve, that these Adim, they testified that this person stole the animal. And then they also testified that they saw that a day later he shechted it. And then what happened was, and then a second group of Adam came and was mazim them and said, you're saying that you were there, let's say on a Sunday and you saw that this person stole? On a Sunday you were with us. How could you testify about this? So first they were found to be saying Pasaleidos regarding the Gneve. And then the Chazru of Ahuzmo Alatviche. And afterwards, these Adam came and said, How could you testify about the Tviche? You say you were there when they slaughtered it. Let's say the day later. The day later, you're also with us in a different place. So, this is, this is simply how we would understand the Mishnah of how the order of events happened. Again, the first set of Adam said Eidos on the Geneva and the Tviche. The second set of Adam came and was Mazim, the first group. First, they were Mazim, the Geneva. You can't say this about this Gneva, you weren't there. And then afterwards, they were Mazim regarding the Tviche. You can't say this about the Tviche either. So now what's the question? On Abayi, the Gemara is going to ask. Now if it's true that Abayi says, that when Edim Zaymimin become Puzzle, so now this retroactively puzzles them, which what that means is that not only that Eidos that was found to be Puzzle is Puzzle, but any other testimony that they said afterwards is all Puzzle, so if so, Hani, these Adim, Kivin the Itzimulu, who are Geneve, once they were found to be Adim Zaymin regarding the Geneve, which was the first Adis that they said, so Igloi Muslim Afreya. So if so, now retroactively it becomes clear, Bihi Isadu Atviche, Psulanava, that when they say Adis regarding the Tviche, regarding the next Adis that they said, following the Gneve, and they said that we also saw that this person shechted this animal, so they were Puzzle, Psulanava, they were Puzzle Adis. If so, Amai Mishal Menatviche, why should they have to pay the Kasha Zomam for the Tviche as well? When they said Eidos on the Tviche, they were Pasal Eidim. Pasal Eidim that say Eidos 
doesn't uh, the punishment and the, the, the payment of Kashazamam does not apply to them. So once they became Edim, Zaymimim, for the Gneve, so when they were saying Edis on the Tvichir, they're Pasal Edus. If they're Pasal Edus, so there shouldn't be any Kashazamam on that. <coughs> right, correct, Anachonami. Once, yeah, true. Also true. <coughs> so the Gemara says, Omri, so the answer to this question, what is the case over here that the Hazama happened in the opposite order? First, they were found to be Edim Zaymimin regarding the second Edis that they said, regarding the Edis on the Tviche. So, and, and therefore, regarding this, so the, there is Kashazama for the Tviche because they weren't yet found to be Edim Zaymimin on the Gneva. They were first found to be Edim Zaymimin on the Tviche. So therefore they pay Kashazamam four or five times as much for the Tviche. But the Gemara still asks, this doesn't answer the, real, the question here. Omri, but they said on this, Sof, so, but in the end, what happens over here? Kihad Mitzvah but when they not be, are found to be Edim Zaymimin on the Edis that they said before, on the Edis of the Gneva as well, as the Mishnah says, they were found to be Edim Zaymimin on both, on the Tviche and on the Gneva. So if so, Igloi Milsa. So now this reveals, as Abaye says, once they become Edim Zaymimin, this goes back retroactively. So now it reveals the Chi Isadu Atviche Psulanavo. That the Edis that they said on the Tviche, they were possible. So even if the actual Hazama on the Gneve was found after the Hazama on the Tviche, but it doesn't matter. Once you find that they were Edim Zaymimin when they said the Gneve, any Edis that they said afterwards, they're already possible Edis. That's the concept of Lama Freya. That after that Edis of Hazama, whatever follows is all possible Edis. If so, when they said the Edis on Tviche, they were still already possible. So why are they paying for intending to make this person pay for the Tviche and they have to pay Kashazamam now, but they were already Pasele Eidos. So the Gemara answers, Vehilchase, this Lashon is usually used when the Gemara just brings a conclusion, but here the word Vehilchase means, and the Halacha is, in other words, the answer to explain this Halacha of the Mishnah is, according to Abaye, Sheheidu Bevas Achas, that when they said the Eidos, on the Geneve and on the Tviche, the Edus on the Geneve and the Tviche was set together. It was said Bevasachas. Now Bevasachas obviously doesn't mean at, at one second, but Bevasachas means it was said Toich Kedei Dibur, which Yigamar is soon going to explain exactly what the length of Toich Kedei Dibur is. They said the Edus on the Geneve, and right away they continued saying their Edus on the Tviche. And then Vohuzmu. And then the Edus both on the Geneve and on the Tviche they were found to be possible on both the Gneva and the Tviche. So in such a case, Rashi and Taisvis here explain why are they going to have to pay the Kasha Zaman for both the Gneva and the Tviche? Because over here you can't say that they were found to be possible for the Gneva, so they're already possible for the Tviche. So if they're already possible Edis for the Tviche, there's no Kasha Zaman for that. No, it doesn't work like that if it's Toich Kedei Dibor. If it's Toich Kedei Dibor, then it's one, it's one Edus, and they're not yet considered to be possible Edus for the Tviche. And Toysus explains it, and that's what Ashi says, but Toysus explains a little bit more that when you say something Toich Kedei Dibor, you have a chance to retract from your Edus until after that time of Kedei Dibor. So when they say the Edus on the Gneve, and right away say Edus on the Tviche, we can't say that they're considered to be possible Edis because they were found to be possible already for the Gnei because it's still Toich Kedei Dibur. They have a chance to do Tshuva. At that point when they were saying the Edis, they weren't yet possible. They could have done Tshuva. So therefore, now that they were found to be Edim Zaymimin, they are Edim. They were Kasher the Edim that said the Edis. We can't say that it's, oh, they were already possible. No, it's not already possible because it's Toich Kedei Dibur. They could have done Tshuva. So therefore, because they were Kasher the Edis when they were speaking the Edis, now, later, when they're found to be Zaymimin, they have to pay Kashazomam for both the Gneve and for the Tvicha as well. There's one more detail that Rashi adds to this to explain this, but that the point that the Gemara said before, that the Hazama was first on the Tvicha and afterwards on the Gneve, that point still remains. Because if the Hazama was first on the Gneve, then there's zero relevance to the Edis of the Tvicha. There's no Chiyov for Shechting if there's no Gneve. The, the chiyuv of the shechita is that you shechted an animal that you stole. If the hazama on the gneva was first, so then what did we shecht? Maybe they shechted their own animal. So the hazama must have been first on the tviche, and then the hazama was on the gneva. So that point of the gemara before still remains. And the gemara says, Shall we say that the machlokes of Abaye and Rava, 
regarding Edim Zaymimin, when they become Pasal, whether the Psal goes back, Lama Freya, any other Edus that they said is all Pasal, or it only is Mikan Lahaba, and whatever Edus other, other they said, after that Pasal Edus that they said, it doesn't Pasal anything else. So, Chayre, this is a Machlaikis Tanayim here in this Braise. So the Braise says, How you Shnaim Edim Moisei Shagonav? Two Edim are testifying on this person that he stole an animal. And the Haim Edim Moisei, they also testify Shatovach, that he slaughtered the animal. Vuhuzmu Ala Gneve. And then these Edim were found to be Edim Zaymimin regarding the Gneve that they just said. So what happens now? Edish Abotla Miktsasa, Abotla Kula. So in such a case, because part of the Edish is Botl, the whole entire Edish becomes Botl. And the reason why you say that in this case is because if they're lying regarding the Geneva, then the Edus that they say regarding the Tviche is irrelevant. Again, because if we don't know that they stole it, so then what they shechted may have been their animal. So there's no Edus about the Tviche either. Who's the But if what happened is these Edim were found to be Edim Zaymimin only regarding the Tviche, but, but not regarding the Geneva. Regarding the Geneva, the Edus that they said may still be true. So then, who mishalem tashlume kefal? So in such a case, the ganev still has to pay kefal because that part of the edus was not uh, refuted at all. Vehei mishalem tashlume shloisha, and the remainder after the kefal, when you pay dal vehei, so the dal vehei is the remainder of the kefal. So if it's a case of a shirt, besides the kefal, you pay another three times as much, a total of five. So the remainder of the tashlume shloisha, which these edim intended to have him pay, so now they have to pay it, because we will mazim only the tviche, so that they have to pay. Um, Rabbi Yaisi, on this Rabbi Yaisi says, In this second case that we said here, when they were found to be zaymimin on the tviche, and I say that the ganev still pays kefal, and they pay the, the remainder of the daal tvihe, when is this true? Bishtei edis. It's only if there were two separate edim, Edus on the Geneva and a separate Edus on the Tviche. That's the simple title of the words, Bishtei Edus. Aval be Edus Achas. If it was all one Edus, that's saying the Edus on the Geneva and on the Tviche. So even if it's a case where only the Tviche of the Edus was found to be Zaymimin, but not the Geneva regarding that, they could still be saying the truth. Doesn't matter. The Allah still remains. Edus Shabbatlo Miktsasa. Once part of the testimony is found to be bottle, which is the tvicha aspect, bottle kula, then we go back and we say that even the geneva that they testified about is also going to be bottle. That's what Rabbi Yaisi said. Now, this, this statement of Rabbi Yaisi is very, very hard to understand. Logically, it doesn't make sense why he's arguing here. The Gemara is going to spell it all out. Let's see. Says the Gemara, my b'shtei edis. Now the point that the Gemara is going to prove over here is when Rabbi Yaisi says shtei edis and edis achas. The simple translation of that is shtei edis means two different groups of edim. Edis achas means it's the same group of edim. But the Gemara now is going to prove that that can't be what Rabbi Yaisi meant because a pasha doesn't fit. It doesn't make sense what he's saying. Why not? So my b'shtei edis. What did Rabbi Yaisi mean when he says only if it's two edis? And one, did he mean to say when he said that it's one Eidos? If you'll just learn it literally. means Literally two different groups of Eidim. Two different groups. And what does Beidus Achas mean when he says one Eidos? What he means is Bekat Achas. It's one group of Eidim which are saying Eidos about both the Gneva and the Tviche. Bezeh Achazeh. The same group of Edus is coming to say Edus about the Gneva on one day, and they're coming back to say Edus about the Tvich on another day. That's what Rabbi Yaisi was talking about. That would be the simple translation of his words. And then, for Omer, Rabbi Yaisi, how are we going to learn what Rabbi Yaisi says? The Edus Achas, the Katachas, if it's one Edus, it's one group, and they came to say Edus on one day about the Gneva, on the next day about the Tvich. So, if they say Edus that this person stole, Oh, the misadi atvicha, and then they say edos that this person also took that animal and slaughtered it. So what's Rabbi Yaisi saying now? That kimisemi atvicha, if they're found to be edim zaymim regarding the tvicha, then I would say edos shabatlo miktsasa batlo kula. That because the second half of their edos, or the second edos that they said on the next day, the second edos they said about the the tvicha, so that's found to be false. So I say, Batla Kula, the Itzmulo Agneve. And I go back and I say that the Edus that they said about Agneve is also uh, considered to be false and it's all bottle. 
But the question is, how could Rabbi Yaisi say this? Mehechi teisi hach. Why should I say such a thing? Just because the edus that he said about the tviche is found to be false, so why are you concluding automatically that the previous edus that they said a day before about the gneve is also considered to be false? Why? In the case where the Tanakhama spoke about, the Tanakhama said, once you find that the gneve is false, then the tviche is also falls apart because what they shechted belongs to them. But to reverse, to say that if the tviche is found to be false, that means that the gneve is false. Why should you say such a thing? So this can't be what Rabbi Yaisi was saying. El Olav, so therefore we have to reinterpret what Rabbi Yaisi means and what he's saying is as follows. When Rabbi Yaisi said the term he didn't mean two separate sets of Edom. Rather what he meant is it's the same Edos but they are coming and testifying similar to two Edos. What does that mean? It's the same group of Edom but they came and they testified about the Gneve and the Tviche Achaze. They came and testified once on Sunday about the Gneve, and then they testified about the Tviche on Monday. That's the Shtei Edeus that Rabbi Yesi was talking about. Avo Beidus Achas, and when, when Rabbi Yesi says Eidus Achas, what does Eidus Ma Achas mean? Bevas Achas, that they came and testified about the Gneve and the Tviche together at the same time. That's what Rabbi Yesi was saying. Now the point that Rabbi Yesi was saying was that if it's the same group of Edom that testified together, both on the Gneve and on the Tviche, then I'm going to say that even if they're found to be false regarding the Tviche, it's considered also that the Edus of the Gneve will also be false. That was the point of Rabbi Yesi. The Tanakhama said that if they're found to be false on the Tviche, it doesn't mean that their edus of the Geneva is false. Rabbi Yaisi is saying, if they're, because they're saying the whole edus, so once they're found to be false on the edus of the Tviche, so then the edus on the Geneva that they said right before that, is also considered to be false. That was the Machlaikis here. Now what is this Machlaikis based on? So the Gemara now explains, the Talmidim and the Yeshiva that wanted to explain this machlekes, that it's based on the machlekes of Abaya and Rave, so they thought over here as follows. Why, yeah? why we, why we, but it, it doesn't make sense either what he's, that he's, that he, that he, that if it was taken day deeper, yep. that's what we're saying over mm-hmm. here. So, the, but the, the Geneva and the, and the Tvich didn't happen at the same time. No, of course not. But the Eidos was okay, taken day so, deeper. But it was Husma only on the Tvich. Correct. So once it becomes Huzum on the Tviche, the Geneva will also be possible. Let, let, let's wait for the Gemara to explain it. Okay, go ahead. Oh, it's going to explain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gemara is going to explain. Let's see. So, the Savrua, the Yeshiva students that wanted to say that this Machlaikis of Rabbonon and Rabbi Yaisi is the same Machlaikis as Abaye Verova regarding how Hazama works, whether it passes Lama Freya or it passes Mikano Lahaba. So, they thought to say as follows. The, 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 most, the simplest way to explain this machlekes would be that it, it, they're arguing on the concept of teich kedei dibur. When you say two edison together, and the second half is found to be puzzle, should I puzzle the first half that was said teich kedei dibur? Well, it depends. Do you consider teich kedei dibur to be one edus? If yes, then it's all puzzle. If not, it won't all be puzzle. So, but in the beginning, they thought as follows: the kula alma. Everybody holds of this rule: teich kedei dibor, kedibor dami. Then, when you have something that said teich kedei dibor, it's all like one dibor. It's one long thing. You can't separate them one from the other. So, if so, what's the machlekes over here? What's the machlekes when they said when this one group of edus set together first the edus on Geneva and right afterwards beteich kedei dibor and edus on the tviche? What are they arguing about? Whether the whole edus falls apart, even the edus of the Geneva, or not? So my love, don't you think that the basis of their machlekes is as follows? The Rabbanon Savri, Rabbanon hold like Rove, Mikan, Ulahaba, Nifsal. When they are found to be puzzle regarding the Tviche that they said, so only that Tviche is puzzle. But the Geneve that they said before, that part is not going to be puzzle. Because only from the day, from that time that they became Adam Zaymimin, that's when the Psul is. The psul doesn't go back retroactively to that day when they actually said the edus. It's when they're found to be puzzle is, is when the uh, when the ed- when the psul takes effect. But we don't go back retroactively. So since it's only at that time when they're found to be puzzle that they get the status of edum zaymimin, atvichah the kamitzimi itzum. 
regarding the tviche that they said, which they were found to be puzzle, Adam Zayim So for that, they're puzzle. A geneve the loy mitzimi. But on the edis of the Geneva that they said, even though the edis of the Geneva was trech kredit, but it doesn't matter. Lo yitzim. For that, they're not going to be puzzle. It's two, it's two separate things. The psul is only mikano la'aba, and it goes only on the tviche. That's Rabbonon. Rabbi Yaisi Sovar, but on the other hand, Rabbi Yaisi holds, l'mafreya hu nifsal, that when you find Adam to be Adam zaymimin, so then it affects them. They become pasul and afreya. We don't consider the psul to take effect on them just now, mikan alaba, but it goes back retroactively. And any edus that they said from before, everything is totally pasul. Vikiven the miyad ki ashidu hu de mifsali. So since we say now retroactively that whatever edus they said then, on that day when they said the edus, and from then going forward, everything is all pasul. So ki atviche. So if now they're found to be Adam Zaymin on that day when they said Adus on the on the Tviche, it's Mulunami Yagneva. So then it passes also the Adus that they said on the Gneva as well. Because since Taich Kide Dibur is Kidibur, it's one big Adus, and they're found to be possible regarding the Adus of the Tviche, and the Psal takes effect Luma Freya on that time when they said that Adus. So therefore the Adus of the Gneva also becomes possible. So seemingly, this machlokes of Rabbi Yisi and the Rabbanon is based on the same machlokes as Abaye and Rava. So we have to say what we said before that the tefichah came before us. No, no, no. The tefichah was right after, but it was toich kedei dibor. Even though it was right after, but if since it's toich kedei dibor and they're found to be pasul, so once they're found to be pasul, we say lemafreya that the psul goes on the tefichah and the geneva on that time on both edusim that they said together. Even though the actual Tzvita and the, and yeah, the neighbor were two different days. That doesn't matter though, but we have to look at the time when they said the Eidos. The Psul goes that, and when they said the Eidos. The, yeah. the, the, the Rishayinim over here asked the question that before the Gemara clearly said that when they say Eidos Bavas Achas, so then if they're becoming Pasul on one part of the Eidos, then the other part of the Eidos is not considered to be possible. Before the Gemara said that if it's Bevasachas, so then I say because it was all said Bevasachas and they could have done Tshuve, so therefore we're not going to puzzle the whole thing. Now the Gemara is saying the opposite, that if they become puzzle, becoming puzzle of Mafreya, we say that it goes back to Mafreya and the whole thing becomes puzzle. So there's, there's a big discussion about this, and Mamish looks like a steer over here in the Gemara. But uh, the simplest answer is that the Gemara before, is discussing Benigeya to the uh, Benigeya to the payment of Kashazomam. And on that the Gemara is saying regarding the payment of Kashazomam, so you could be Mikhaiv them Kashazomam. Because when they said the Eidos, they're considered to be Kashara Eidim, because they still could have done Shuva when they were saying that Eidos. So you can't say that they're already verified Pasal Eidos. So the Einish of Kashazomam would still apply when it said Bevasachas. But over here, the Gemara is discussing something a little bit different. Over here, Rabbi Yaisi is discussing regarding the Ganev. Does the Ganev have to pay Kefal? Could we accept their Eidos regarding the Ganev paying Kefal? On that, the Gemara says, if you're saying the Mafreya Hu Nifsa, what that means is, since the Ganev and the Tviche are both Eidos and were set together, and we say that it passes the, the Tviche, that time of the Tviche, then they're considered to be already possible, because the Eidos of the Ganev was set, the whole Eidos should fall apart, and you can't be Mechaev the Ganev to pay Kefal. That's what the Gemara means to say here. Okay, Omri, the Gemara answers. That the, the answer to this is, like you could understand already from the Gemara before, you don't have to say that this Machlekes of Rabbi Yaisi and Rabbanon depends on the Machlekes of Abai and Rava, but rather we can say as follows. If I were to say that what you, the Eidos that you say, is all considered to be one thing, one Eidos. So the Kula Alma, everybody would agree to Abaya, like the Gemara Paskin before, Loma Freya on Nifsal, that the Eidus becomes possible retroactively, and therefore, if the Gneva and the Tviche, if these two testimonies were set together, it should all be possible. You can't be Machai of the Ganav to pay Kefal at all. Elohacha, Batech Kedibur, Kedibur Dami. Over here, though, the argument is about this point itself. Is Teich Kedai Dibur considered to be like one long Dibur? If the Eidim are saying these two testimonies about the Gneve and the Tvich, the Teich Kedai Dibur, is it considered to be like one thing? Or it's like two testimonies that are divided in two different days? That's Kamifliga, that, that's what they're arguing about. Rabbanan Savri, Teich Kedai Dibur, Lav Kedai Dibur Dami. The Rabbanan's opinion is that even though the whole Eidus was all set together, but it's not considered to be like one Dibur. It's like two separate testimonies. So if it's two separate testimonies, so then 
The edus about the Tviche was found to be possible. That's one edus. But the edus of the Geneve that was said before, that's before. If it was before, regarding that, there's no psul bechlal. And even if you say Lema Freya, but, but it's before, it's separated. Toich Kedibo, Lav Kedibo Domi, it's two separate edus. Rabbi Yaisi Sova, Toich Kedibo, Kedibo Domi. Rabbi Yaisi holds that Toich Kedibo is considered to be like one long sentence, like one long edus. So therefore, if they're becoming Pasul Lema Freya for that time when they said the edus on the Tviche, so the edus of the Geneva that was set together is also going to be Pasul. Now on this conclusion over there that we're saying, that, that Rabbi Yaisi holds that Teich Kedai Dibur is all considered to be Kedibur, like one long statement. But the Sava Rabbi Yaisi, Teich Kedai Dibur Kedibur Dami. Is this true that Rabbi Yaisi holds that it's all considered to be one long statement? But Vatanan, we learned in the Mishnah as follows. This is regarding the halacha of Tumura, where a person has an animal that's hectish, and he says that the Kedusha of this animal, he wants to exchange it to another animal. So the Allah is, you're not allowed to do that. There's a law to do that. But when you say that, what happens is that the animal that's hectish remains hectish, remains a carbon, but the other animal also becomes hectish. So the Mishnah says as follows. A person said, Harezu tumura sayla, that this animal here should be the exchange for this animal that's an ayla. And then he adds right afterwards, tumura shlamim. It should be instead of a shlamim. So the question is, what, which, which one that he said do we, do we take? He said two different things. So, if the person said two different things that are contradictory, so, Rab Meir says that we take the first thing that he said. The Lashon that's always used about this is, Lashon Rishen. You take the first Lashon that he said, and the exchange here is for a oila, not for a shlomen. Rab Yaisi says, Im lekach neskavim mitchilo, if this is what the person intended, he wanted that this animal here should be the exchange of half oila and half shlomim, and now it's impossible to say out of your mouth oila and shlomim at the same time. So he's saying first oila and then shlomim, not because oila is more important than shlomim to him. He means both, but he just can't say both together at the same time. So what we say is the word of kayamin. Both words, oila and shlomim, that he said take effect. And what that means is that this animal now that becomes a tamura, it has half a kedusha of oila and half a kedusha of a shlomim. Obviously, such an animal, you can't do anything with it. You can't bring it on the Mizbeach because it's half oil and half shlomim. You'll have to just leave it, wait until it gets a mum, and then you redeem it, and you buy another carbon instead of it. That would have been like two carbonis. Huh? Well, two different carbonis, yes. You have to, yeah. Now, ve'im oma If, now the Braisa adds, according to Rabbi Yaisi, if he said tumura sayla, that this animal should be instead of an oil, then v'nimlach, he changes his mind, v'oma tumura shlomim, and then he wants it to be, no, instead of a shlomim. So what do we do? We take what he said in the beginning because he changed his mind later. You can't change your mind afterwards. It already became an oila. The question was asked on this last case here, Nimlach, why does the, the, the Mishnah have to add this case where he changed his mind? Pshita, obviously you can't change your mind. Once it becomes an oila, how could you make it a shlomim now? And Rav Pape, and Rav Pape explained what Rabbi Yaisi means to add by this, that the Nimlach here is, Nimlach betoich kedei dibukam rinan. That he changed his mind, he said it should be a tumor of an ayla, and then betoich kedei dibur, almost like two, three, few seconds afterwards, as the Gemara will soon explain it, the shir of toich kedei dibur, a couple of seconds afterwards, he changes his mind and says tumor shlomim. So what is Rabbi Yaisi trying to say? Even though it was toich kedei dibur, he can't have charata. Why? Because toich kedei dibur is lav kedibur dami. It's not like one sentence. Once you said it, it's over, it's an ayla, and you can't change your mind. If Toich Kedai Dibur is Kedibur, then you still have a chance to have Kharata because you didn't really finish saying what you wanted to say, so you, you still could change. So over here, the question is, here we see Rabbi Yaisi holds Toich Kedai Dibur is Laaf Kedibur Dami. Before we said Rabbi Yaisi holds Toich Kedai Dibur is Kedibur, and when you have two parts of one Eidus, the Geneva and the Tviche, the whole thing becomes puzzle. So the Gemara answers, there's two different shiurim of Toich Kedai Dibur. Omri, the answer to this is as follows. Trei Toich Kedai Dibur have. There are two different shiurim for Toich Kedai Dibur. Chad, one is Kedai Shi'ilas Talmud Larav. The time it takes for a student to greet his teacher. And Vachad, the other is Kedai Shi'ilas Harav the Talmud, when the teacher is greeting the student. So the Gemara will explain here the difference now. Kiles Lela Rabbi Yaisi Kedai Shi'ilas Talmud Larav. When does Rabbi Yaisi not hold of Teich Kedai Dibur, the longer Teich Kedai Dibur? And that is when the student greets his, his teacher, because he has to say, Shalai Malacha Rabbi Yomairi. So he's saying four words. Or some Rishayinim actually are not good as the word Mairi, 
but at, at least it's three words. He has to say, Shalom Alecha Rebbe. <coughs> so that, the nafish, that's longer. That, uh, this, that uh, length of time of Teichet Yedibur, he doesn't hold off. But Kadei Sheila Sarav Talmud, when the teacher is greeting the student and he just says, Shalom Alecha, just two words, that Teichet uh, Yedibur is like, that he does hold of, and that's what it was talking about before in the Braisa when it spoke about the Abyss of Geneva and Tvicha together, and he holds of Teich Dibur, it's this uh, shorter Teich Dibur here. Okay, the Hamshach of the Gemara is a long Hamshach that goes in the whole next Amit, so I'll leave it to Ms. Shem for tomorrow.